any computer can come with its fair share of problems. Since your PC is made up of various smaller components all focused on performing together, just a single failing component can cause havoc to your workflow. If you're concerned that the RAM inside your Windows 10 PC is beginning to malfunction, it's important to fix it as soon as possible. Here's how to check if your RAM is working properly in Windows 10. Your computer's RAM, or random access memory, is one of the most important components in your PC, since it performs a number of duties. It stores instructions for your computer CPU, along with the necessary data to perform those tasks. If your computer constantly feels slow, it could be due to a lack of memory, or it could be caused by malfunctioning RAM. Thankfully, you won't need to tear open your desktop or laptop PC to find out what's going on. Instead, Windows 10 can reliably tell you if something's up with your memory, as long as you know where to look. Your RAM can run into any number of different issues, from short-circuiting to coming loose from its memory slot. Your RAM sticks might even be tuned to run at different speeds, which could cause slowdowns or error messages over time. Regardless of the cause, it's important to check out whether your RAM is working properly at all, and thankfully, we know exactly how to do that. The easiest way to check the status of your RAM in Windows 10 is to use the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. To open it on your PC, open the Start menu and type Memory into the search box, then hit Enter. Windows will prompt you with two options here, either restart your PC immediately to run the test, or run it the next time you boot your computer. Either option is fine, and you can select the choice that works best for your schedule. When you reboot your computer, the test will run its course. It may take some time for the full test to run, so sit tight and let Windows do its thing. If you're extra worried about your RAM, press the F1 key to perform an extended test. Just make sure you have time to do this. It can take a while for the extended test to complete. When the test is finished, Windows will reboot and present you with the final test results from the memory diagnostic. You can also find your final test results saved as a Windows event log. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.